So today we're doing another five minute rebuild. You guys seem to like the one that I did yesterday. If you did miss it, it was the Miami Marlins. Whew. Was it a tough one? It's going to be up here in the top corner. Go and give it a watch. And of course, we're going to be doing another bad team today. The Baltimore Orioles. Yeah, I don't even know if this one's going to be possible to turn this team around in five minutes. A lot of bad players, some bad contracts, not a lot of trade value. This one's going to be tough. I would say go to the poll to vote for the team, but YouTube got rid of polls. So in the comment section down below, let me know who you want to see next. Other than that, we're going to hop straight into it. Five minute rebuild. All settings are the same. Someone did mention that yesterday the five minute timer that I put above me was longer than five minutes, which is weird because when it started, it started at five minutes. So um, I'll show you guys the timer that I do use really quick so that you guys can see what I what I do use so that you guys don't think that I'm like cheating or anything. I literally just use a, a five minute timer that I have set on my phone. So it was just the timer that I found to use for like the video that I edited in for some reason it was longer than five minutes so i'll find a new one that's actually five minutes this time and we'll we'll hop into this so i don't even know where to start with this team probably pitching just because the pitching is god awful like oh man this one's bad i don't even know what we're gonna do with this team the lineup's not even great trey mancini's in triple a so we gotta make sure we move him up and keep him in like our mind the whole time we're making these trades but like oh this is gonna be tough this one's gonna be tough indeed so what are we gonna do with this team how are we gonna make it better we're gonna have to go for like a lot of like glitchy players so ooh, probably start with let's go for some bullpen no bullpen's gonna be kind of like the easier thing let's go for like position players third base would be a great place to trade for shortstop would be a good place to trade for what could we do let's go third base let's see if we can find like a little Ooh, what about second base because i have a player in mind already and this could be super easy to do arias oh yeah um nope nope mm, what else could we do what about richie martin oh that works okay so this is our leadoff hitter 100 percent. like this is super easy this is what we're gonna do to get this one done once i find a player that you know the twins want to take from us whenever that is all right mount castle i know in real life probably wouldn't do this but arias velasquez and richie martin for arias this is our our leadoff hitter again here's the timer so you guys can see it i know it's a little blurry but at least you can see the five minute spot right so here we go five minute starts and as soon as i like accept it so three two one boom all right we're started five minutes has started that's our second baseman i do want to find a third baseman as well who could we go that's going to be kind of cheap another like good hitter um hmm i wonder if would suarez be possible is this possible maybe not real ruiz but like who do we have that has some value maybe rutchman okay okay then cisco this is this is looking and Pat Vileka for Eugenio Suarez. Okay, that's a big move right there. Okay, so we've got Mancini can play first or right. Oh, I got to get rid of this this um, Alex Cobb contract. What are some trades we could do here? Justin Smoke, Pomeranz, or Joe Kelly? I don't really like any of those. Um, could we get like a really good pitcher for this? For like a season? Who's got a bigger contract? That Like Mad Bum? Yes. Could we get another reliever out of this? Andrew Chafin. Is that who I want? Archie Bradley. I would. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Starter and a reliever. That is like two birds, one stone right there. I don't really like Tanner Scott just because his walks per nine are really, really low. And I don't know if that's going to like end up being like a good performance from him. Basically, I'm going to say he's going to be bad. So let's try to find other really good relievers. Um who is a good reliever to get that's gonna be easy to trade for um uh i'm not really s dylan floro uh who are we gonna have to tra we're gonna have to trade one of these bigger contracts that we have um what about steve w that's not really a big contract but at least it gives i think we're gonna have to trade chris davis even though his stats look decent like decent power I think we're gonna have to trade chris davis along with somebody 
So let's just throw in like DL Hall and see if we can get another starting pitcher. That's really what we're going to have to do. See if it works. Um, like Kyle Hendricks. Oh, are you serious? Oh, this might solve so many problems for us. And then if we can get like, what about David Bodie? David Bodie, I mean, not the best, but it, it, it might not be a terrible. What about Ian Happ? Ian Happ might be a little bit out of our range. So I'm going to play it smart. They have Alec Mills, who's a really good long reliever. I'm going to take that trade. Wow, that actually worked out a lot better than I thought it was. We still have two and a half minutes. Oh, that is that is looking nice. I just kind of want to get an idea of like what we're looking like right now. So probably one more starter. One more starter at least. And then I think the bullpen's looking good. Maybe get a shortstop. And then maybe like a better hitting outfielder. Because we got second and third. Okay, we're actually we're actually like in a really good spot. So let's try to get another starter. Hector Velasquez can leave. Who is pretty good? See potential, and kind. Oh man, this one's gonna be tough. Who, who could we get? Uh, I'm trying to think of like the lower rated guys that we could try to take here. Ah oh, man, this one's tough. Who do I normally go for? Like a Zach Davies as like a five. Who, what about Wade LeBlanc? No. I think we're going to have to get rid of someone like Anthony Santander, which is good. Okay. And then, I don't, can we snag somebody from like second base or something like that? Like a Jerks and Profar? Maybe a better outfielder? They don't really have a better hitting outfielder besides like Tommy Pham, but that's going to be way too hard to trade for. And we don't really have that much time. So I might just take this trade unless I can like get Joey Lucchese out of it. Denilson Lamette. Denilson Lamette's not too far off. So. Uh, Cedric Mullins boom. There's another starter. Okay, so let's get that that better hitting shortstop 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 better hitting shortstop Corey Seager um, Who do we have that's a potential that I could get rid of I don't think anybody right Hunter Harvey That's not gonna get the deal done. Not even close. Um Who 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 Jorge Polanco? Okay, that's actually really close. I know we don't have that much that much time So let's just throw Oh, we have Heston cursed at that is 100% gonna get some deal done. 30 seconds, oh, let's go back to, um, what about Glaber? Is that close? Kind of, but I, I don't wanna waste time. Corey Seager, okay, so who do we need to get rid of? Oh, this is gonna be so close, this is gonna be so close. Oh, I don't think we're gonna get, uh, we're not gonna get him. Um, let's go back to Polanco, go back to Polanco. How much time do we have left? We have 10 seconds, 10 seconds to get this deal done. I. I don't really need him. I can do that and that. Boom. There's the deal. That's the last one because I have no time left. But okay. I think we did really well. I think we did really well. Um, so starters. The other starter is going to be Denilson Lamette. Right? Yeah, we have a really trash five. But that's that's uh, okay. We can work with that. Bullpen with Floro, Bradley, Winkler, Givens, Mills. That's, that's big. That's big for sure. And then our lineup... You guys can kind of see who do we have here and then we can call up like trey mancini so that's going to be a big addition and then we'll see what we end up calling up so you guys can see the players here i'll even move myself in the corner so you can actually see like the whole this is the team i'm going to call up trey mancini because you said i can call up players and then if i'm feeling ambitious maybe kerstead as well but uh i think we have the majority of our players like right here um, I'm going to send down a couple bullpen arms because I know we have way too many and then just go from there. You guys can see who we have in the minors as well. So if I end up calling up anybody, you guys will see that. Let me get this sorted because it's a big mess right now. And I'll see you guys in a sec. All right. So after all the moving around, all the like trying to figure out where I want to go with my, my lineup and whatnot. This is this is what we're going to rock with. I feel actually pretty confident in the what we were able to do. It actually went a lot better than I anticipated. We did like clear out the whole farm system, which was a, a little disappointing, especially if you're trying to do a long term rebuild. But we're not. We're only doing a one year sim trying to win immediately. And we actually did really well. Uh, wow. We really turned this team around for sure, especially that pitching staff. That is a big improvement. Arias is going to hit like 300. We got Polanco. That was a good pickup. Mancini at first. Suarez like that's a good one through four. The five through nine, you know, it's it's not the best um but uh we'll we'll go with it you know we'll we'll see how it goes and um 
Heston's in the team as well. I guess I could pop him in, but we'll see how it goes. I, I actually have some faith in it. Maybe a wild card team. The American League is pretty tough, so we'll have to wait and see how it goes. I'm going to change the coaches as well. Um, I feel like that, that shouldn't count as like a, a problem. So I'll do that on camera so you guys can kind of see what, what I look for when I look for coaches. I always look for like the plate vision, the discipline, the, the plus power, the plus contact. It looks like this guy's probably the best one. So we'll, we'll do that. And then uh, for pitching, I always look for walks per nine. I always look for a boost on that one. Um, clutch is a good one to have. Any per nine is a good one to have. So I think I'm going to go with... I don't actually there's not a lot of good ones here this time so maybe I'll go with maybe this guy just we'll just we'll just go with this guy and uh, offer him a contract I feel like that's the best pitching one and then I'll just leave the rest of the coaches the same so let's hop into it I'll start simming and I'll see you guys at the end of the season alrighty so we made the postseason which I'm I'm surprised honestly did not think this was happening this one is a uh, this one's lucky 92 and 70 um yeah let's take a look we were okay so yeah we were like the second team to make it era through the roof but the average slugging percentage actually pretty decent we're ranked 15th so somehow we snuck in there jorge polanco had the most hits and madison bumgarner had a pretty pretty decent year so kind of take a look around the league see what stats are we're up there with polanco had the second most doubles okay uh five triples for trey mancini i see that down there home runs 49 for muncie 62 for jd martinez eugenio with 48 okay so eugenio was actually a big big like acquisition for us like really carried the squad he's actually third for mvp so that was actually a good pickup you know batting title second for polanco so obviously the two players that we or a couple of our acquisitions are paying off and uh, this is where yeah, this one was probably going to hurt us the most. Alec Mills. Okay. Not not terrible. Not terrible. Richard Blyer. Not great. Same with Dylan Floro. Paul Fry, though. Okay. Paul Fry did decent. Actually, like, really good. Uh, Archie Bradley, not fantastic. Michael Givens, not great. And Dan Winkler. Oh, I mean, it's... Yeah, meh. It's not great. It really isn't. Madison Gar Baumgartner, not sure how he didn't win Cy Young. I don't get that. Those are great stats. Kyle Hendricks had a pretty good season. Not so much Denilson Lamette. Okay, John Means was good. And then uh the alphabet, not not fantastic. Not fantastic. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna try. I'm just I'm just gonna move past it. It didn't. I'm not even gonna try to read it, guys. It's just, just it's just not worth my time. Um Luis Arias, his OPS is not gonna be great. He just gets on base at an elite level. That's what I wanted him to do. Jorge Polanco, outstanding season. Love to see it. Trey Mancini, kind of quiet, but not terrible. Eugenio Suarez, fantastic year, almost 50 home runs. Renato Nunez, yeah, it's it's all right, not great, not great. Dwight Smith Jr. though, okay, that is actually pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. That was that's good to see. Everything else from like the five, six, seven, and nine spot, terrible, absolutely terrible. But um, now it comes down to this game against the Red Sox. How are we going to do? We're, we're going to lose. We, we know we're going to lose. It's it's not going to be great. And let's see how it goes. Taking on Chris Sale. So it's going to be a tough matchup. Their team looks the same. It doesn't look like they made any trades at all. Uh, we're down one. We're down three. So there's, oh, we're down four. Okay. That just, you know, it just kept getting worse and worse. We at least get one back. So it, it could have been worse, right? We you know, it just, it could have been a lot worse. So we get out of that bases loaded jam. And I feel like that one run is, that's it. Like I, oh, I lied. Polanco brings us within two. So it's, it's still a game where we could, okay. Now we're within one double play kind of hurts us there, but we're within one. That's actually pretty good. Like tie ball game. Oh, I, I wrote us off way too soon. That is uh pretty good. Okay. That's it for Bumgarner. He's done. We take the lead. Are you kidding me? Um, I I don't know who to go here. Wink. Uh, I mean, Mike Michael Givens. Michael Givens probably not the best option, but I didn't really know who to go with. So, tie ball game. They they might walk it off here. Like they they really might. That 
that's just what I'm okay they didn't so extra innings a base hit scores them no base hit so that's disappointing and okay to the 11th we go and then first and second for Renato Nunez double play not what you want to see Dylan Floro maybe that's the game oh that's tough I mean just our bullpen wasn't good enough that's that's what it was the pitching it wasn't fantastic but it was good enough you know the starting rotation it was this area I just didn't have faith in anybody I guess I could have went Dan Winkler earlier but like if we took the lead I wanted him to shut the door so like I, I didn't know who to go with offensively we take a look at the team you know Trey Mancini went over you know a couple other guys went over in the team it, it was it was actually a pretty good outing for this team to think we made this team in five minutes that is whoo that's impressive so i hope you did enjoy it if you did thumbs up down below subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy mlb content and of course in the comment section let me know which team you want to see next other than that guys two videos are on screen now go and give them a watch if you haven't yet my twitter and all social media links are down in the description below go and give them a follow i'll catch you all in the next one peace